Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So you'll notice new surroundings yet again. Having moved back to the Middle East and into a hotel, I've now moved out of the hotel into an apartment. I'm still decking it out so there's not much furniture, there's no carpet on the floor, so the, the sound may be a little echoey and I apologise for that. That should improve as I get more furniture in the room and I get a carpet on the floor. So today's video is about a statistical study looking into the possibility of Kane Tanaka, the oldest human being living at the moment, being able to exceed the record for the oldest lived human being. Enough waffling off me, let's jump into the presentation and let's see what this new study has to offer. This is a review of a piece I read by Kim Eckhart of the University of Washington, where she states that the number of people who live past the age of 100 has been on the rise for decades. Indeed, the world's centenarian population is projected to grow eightfold by the year 2050, and projections suggest there will be 3.7 million centenarians across the globe in 2050. But how long can a person actually live? Can the age of 122 years and 164 days actually be bested? The rise of centenarians is unquestioned, but there are far fewer supercentenarians, that's to say people who live to the age of 110 and beyond. The oldest living person, Jean Calamet of France, was 122 years and 164 days when she died in 1997. At present, the world's oldest person is 118-year-old Kane Tanaka of Japan. Such extreme longevity, according to the new research by the University of Washington, likely will continue to rise slowly. And by the end of this century, estimates show that a lifespan of 125 years or even 130 years is indeed possible. Michael Pierce, a University of Washington doctoral student in statistics and lead author of the study said, people are fascinated by the extremes of humanity, whether it's going to the moon, how fast someone can run in the Olympics, or even how long someone can live. With this work, we quantify how likely we believe it is that some individual will reach various extremes in age this century. The new study, published in Demographic Research, which is a peer-reviewed open access journal of population sciences, uses statistical modeling to examine the extremes of human life. While some scientists argue that disease and basic cell deterioration lead to a natural limit on human lifespan, others maintain there is no cap, as evidenced by record-breaking supercentenarians. Pierce and Adrian Rafferty, a professor of sociology and of statistics at the University of Washington, took a different approach. They asked what the longest individual human lifespan could be anywhere in the world by the year 2100. Using Bayesian statistics, a common tool in modern statistics, the researchers estimated that the world record of 122 years almost certainly will be broken, with a strong likelihood of at least one person living to anywhere between 125 and 132 years of age. To calculate the probability of living past 110 years of age and to what age, Rafferty and Pierce turned to the most recent copy of the International Database on Longevity created by the Max Planck Institute for Demographic Research. That database tracks supercentenarians from 10 European countries, plus Canada, Japan, and the United States. The team created projections for the maximum reported age at death in all 13 countries from 2020 through to 2100. The four key findings were, researchers estimated near 100% probability that the current record of maximum reported age of death of 122 years, 164 days will be broken. The likelihood remains strong of a person living to 124, with a 
probability and even to 127 years of age with a 68% probability. An even longer lifespan is possible but much less likely with a 13% probability of someone living to the age of 130. It is extremely unlikely that someone will live to the age of 135 in this century. As it is, supercentenarians are outliers and the likelihood of breaking the current age record increases only if the number of supercentenarians grows significantly. But that's not impossible. When you consider individual improvements in lifestyle, medical advances in technology and advances in healthcare, and also looking specifically in the field of longevity. Professor Rafferty said, people who achieve extreme longevity are still rare enough that they represent a very select population. Even with population growth and advances in healthcare, there is a flattening of the mortality rate after a certain age. In other words, someone who lives to be 110 has about the same probability of living another year as say someone who lives to 114, which is about one half. Professor Rafferty closed by saying, it doesn't matter how old they are. Once they reach the age of 110, they still die at the same rate. They've gotten past all the various things that life throws at you, such as disease. They die for reasons that are somewhat independent of what affects younger people. But what of the future? Longevity certainly has ramifications for future government and economic policies, as well as an individual's own healthcare and lifestyle decisions, rendering what's probable or even possible relevant to all levels of society. So what if they found a cheap pill that could extend human lifespan by 10 or even 20 years? Could we, and when I say we, I mean governments, and these usually move slower than glaciers, could they change the way that we do things and avoid a crisis? Could we find the extra employment that would be needed? Would we have to change the retirement age? Would we have to increase pension contributions throughout our lives? Possibly delay payment of pensions, extend social security payments, find more social housing, have a birth rate cap or incentivize birth so there are more younger people to support a larger, older future population. As always, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. Um, as human lifespan continues to extend, do you think Kane Tanaka will be the one who breaks the record for the longest lived human being? I'd like to see your comments in the comments section below. Also, with regard to governments, what do you think will be the largest hurdle that they will have to overcome when it comes to a larger population of older people? Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. As always, please take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.